So here I'm cutting out my first design that I want on my shirt. It's a Calvin Klein logo that I just got off of the internet. Um, you can get any image off the internet that you want to print onto a shirt as long as you're not selling them, of course. Also, if you have some kind of editing software, you could always put multiple different pictures like I did onto one piece of paper to use up as much room as possible if you want smaller designs. And um, make sure to reverse the image so when you lay it down onto your shirt, you're laying it down backwards so it'll print on right. Now, when you start to iron, make sure you press on all the areas first so it doesn't start to curl on you. And also, do more ironing than you think you'll need because you want to make sure it sticks down really well for when you start to peel it. Um, it may also be a little bit difficult to find edges to peel up off of your shirt without grabbing the ink or the transfer on your t-shirt. So make sure that you grab a piece that will peel and not rip off the design that you had just put on. So I decided to change the shirt a little bit and cut it into a crop top because I thought that that would be a cute look and more wearable for me this summer. Then of course after I cut the shirt with the raw edge, I hemmed it around all the edges and ironed it. This is the next design I chose to make and um, I didn't get to put multiple designs on this transfer paper because I wanted this one bigger and it took up the whole space of the paper. So after ironing it on, I started peeling this one and um, I didn't iron it enough in one spot. So I stuck it back down and thought I was going to iron it some more to stick it down, but then it ended up smearing another part of the ink that was on there and that was a big mistake on my part. Just make sure you iron it enough in the beginning so you don't have to deal with any of those complications that I just had to deal with. So here I'm trying to fix it and fill it in, you know, the spots where the ink kind of smeared off with a marker. I didn't use Sharpie because I felt that that would be too much ink and maybe possibly a little bit purple tinted. So this one did the job really nicely and it's still a little bit smeared but it's much better after I did that. So this one here is an Adidas logo that I got off of the internet and I turned it a really light kind of peachy pink color that I wanted. And I also reversed it like all the other photos because it has text in it. Also, make sure that the design on your shirt is all carefully aligned and where you want it. And especially when you set down the iron on it, make sure that you don't move the iron immediately because that might smear your design. Set it down flat on it and let it seep into the fabric and then you can move it across carefully. Also, I had a harder time with this one finding edges to peel off because I did cut the design so close to um, the ink where I wanted it to stay on. So it was harder to find the edge of the paper without peeling off some of the pink color that I wanted to stay on. So this next one I did in a big piece, I kind of cut it in a square around all the little text because it was such a detailed design. I of course wasn't going to sit and cut out every tiny little line, um, so I just did this one in a big square and decided to see how it turned out with the shiny shininess around all the text. On the bright side though, peeling this one was super duper easy. Um, this Nike design, I also changed a little bit of the color in Photoshop to 
be that light peach pink color I did for the Adidas one. Um, this one was also really nice because it was a super simple design and it was easy to iron on and not worry about it moving around too much. I feel like this one was also kind of similar to the Adidas one where I cut it really close to the design. But that's how you get that more professional look without the um, shiny residue around the outside of your design. 